Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. So for weeks now, I have been harvesting uh, three to four of my okras from my four plants. And I clean them and I put them in a bag in my freezer. Well, today is the day, family, where we're going to make a meal with these okras that I've been harvesting. But I'm going to harvest some of my green onions from um, some of my uh, my my grow beds. All of my that's a 100 gallon grow bag. I'm getting some onions out of there. I took some garlic chives out of some, you know, just one or two. <laughs> each one of the plants so I can uh, it give me a nice bit for this meal that I'm preparing but um yeah I, I didn't take too much off so they could still have the pr protection that they needed but yeah I needed a couple of them just a couple <laughs> I also harvest three bay leaf from my bay leaf tree I have here yeah, just three is good enough. Yeah. Also, I harvest some basil. Yeah, and it was smelling so good, family. And this is my Chef Paul Poudon uh, seasoning that I do like very much. This is some turkey sausage. Of course, there's the star to show. This is some shrimp. Uh, stock I make right this is tomatoes it's a um, sauce tomato sauce and um, diced tomatoes and that is lemon peppers that I made and here is all of my fresh seasoning I have red yellow orange bear peppers I have garlic and um, there's some celery in there and all of my dry seasoning yeah so it's the Trinity and the Pope. And the Pope is garlic. All right. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> uh, so now I have some butter and oil in my pan. And I'm just going to let that melt down. So we can get the, the okra. Get the star to show in the pan. So, you know, I see a lot of people uh, to get the slime out of the okra. They would use things like um, cornmeal or flour or even vinegar. Well, I don't use any of that. I just fry it. Uh, when you just let them fry, family, you will not have a slimy vegetable you just let her fry now in this pan it's just oil butter okra that's it and um, I'm just gonna let her fry and the frying takes away the slime just just fry it yeah but this is a meal that my grandmama made, my aunts made, my mother made. Um, it's just um, it's just a flavor of okra bring me back to my childhood, you know, because that was a meal that, you know, we grew okra and yeah, it was a part of us. So now I'm going to put in all of my fresh seasoning, except I'm not going to put the garlic in right now um i'm not gonna put all of the bell peppers in right now but all right so we just getting all of that uh those aromatics in here because i love uh, peppers in my food it's just you know uh, also, there's my bay leaves. They're going in. And what I'm going to do is just let them all fry together. Yep, they got to all fry together and just love on one another. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, but as I was saying, my grandmother made this meal. My mama made it. It's just beautiful. This is turkey sausages, right? So I put them in. Let them join the crowd. And release all of their wonderful flavors that they have in here also. But um, my grandmother... Um, she would love to. Now, this one thing, we never had them fried when I was young. But stewed okra and tomatoes was just something that we all look forward to uh, all the time. It was just, and it, this meal is just so quick. I mean, um, you know, it's not uh, something that you, you know, um, be on over the stove all day. Yeah, that's good looking. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not something that um, you know you you are over the stove all day to to prepare it. To say that the taste you get is so amazing, yeah, it, it's nothing. Um, it takes very short amount of time. So this is stewed tomatoes and pureed tomatoes. That's what that is. And this is my shrimp stock that I make. And you know, I should never have to buy uh, shrimp stock. I, I get, I have too many fresh shrimps. And so what I do, I always um, make stock from my shrimp. Yep. Yeah. And so we put that in. And now we're going to let them all just come together as one <laughs> now we'll put my garlic in we'll put uh, the Pope had arrived <laughs> yeah so you know since I was cutting up vegetables I just chopped up more and I'm just going to put that in a freezer bag put it in the freezer so when I need it I already have some chopped up and that's what I like to do anyway, all the time, all the time, family. Yeah. So here is my powdered seasonings. Now, of course, here, you know, you choose the seasoning you like. You know, whatever you like, that's what you put in there. And, of course, you all seen I put a lot of... Uh, uh, vegetable uh, magic from uh, Chef Paul Poudon. Also, I have some um, Tony Saturate in here. Yeah. And garlic and onion powder. Yeah. I put that one. The vegetable magic from Chef Paul. And um, I really, really do like um, the special matter of fact, the set that I had there, Mr. George gave me that set. I love it. <laughs> so now I'm just going to let it all cook. So, you know, with tomatoes, uh, the more you let it cook, the just all, it just all come together. So let it cook and, um, yeah, she's she's rolling now. She's rolling. Yeah, they're all coming together. So, there go the shrimp. We're going to put some shrimp in here. Now, this is about, a, I guess, a pound of shrimp. Yeah, it's about a pound of shrimp um, that I uh, shelled and deveined. And I have the shells. I will make stock tomorrow. But that is my shrimp. And there's a little something extra that my mother used to put in our tomato and okra. I'm going to share it right there. So that is claw crab meat. Right? That's the claw crab meat. And I put a cup of that in it. And yeah. Now, this claw crab meat is already done. 
uh, but we're going to let it cook for about another 10 minutes. And then, well, as you see, I'm taking all of my bay leaves out, right? You don't want nobody to, <laughs> to be uh, choking on a bay leaf. And I know I put three in there, so there she is, right? So now I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to turn the fire off, family, because she is done. Done, done. Yeah. That is lemon powder that I made, lemon pepper that I made. And I'm just going to put a little of that in it just to give it a little, mm, mm, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just make you smack one time. <laughs> but let me fix my plate and I'm going to share my meal with you. Okay? Good evening, family. This is my uh, okra, tomato, sausage, and seafood. <laughs> yeah. So it, well, I've been tasting it, y'all. <laughs> but you know, I had to make sure all the seasoning was yeah, on point there, on point. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. Of course, I had to put just a little, just a little, just a little. <laughs> so this is it. It's, listen, I've been tasting it. It's so delicious. It tastes just like I remember. Mmm. <laughs> So, the last ingredient that I put in it was um, lump crab meat, the crab claw, that's what it is. It's um, a little something extra my mom used to put in our um, okra and tomatoes, <laughs> uh, and it's so good, and I love this. I must have cornbread with it, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yep, I almost burnt it, but... Mmm. <laughs> Just give it more flavor. <laughs> and it's so good, family. Mmm. That is wonderful. This is just pineapple drink. That's all. Mm-hmm. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next video. All right, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Let's get one of these shrimps out of there. There we go. There we go. Here I go. <laughs>